I'd like to talk to you about ACON's 2013 financial results. They represented another year of solid progress. Our revenue was up 6% to over $3 billion, driven primarily by a substantial increase in our energy segment, and we delivered increased adjusted EBITDA of $184 million. Underpinning our financial performance is ACON's ongoing focus on execution, performance, operational discipline, and risk management. For the third year, and on the basis of our continued financial progress and positive outlook, our Board of Directors has approved an increase of ACON's annual dividend to 36 cents per share to be paid in four quarterly payments of 9 cents each in 2014. I'm pleased to report that in 2013, we made significant advancement on our commitments to you, our valued shareholders, including steady organic growth in our core market sectors of infrastructure, energy, mining, and concessions. Further development of ACON's best-in-class safety and training programs. In 2013, ACON was named one of the best employers in Canada for the seventh straight year. And ACON University, our in-house learning and development platform, is now fully embedded across the organization. We strengthened our project controls team with some of the most knowledgeable people in the business and further advanced a detailed set of project criteria and risk management practices across the organization. ACON has built strong strategic partnerships and alliances and emerged as the Canadian partner of choice on large multi-year projects. ACON's partnering skills and diverse service offering through the One ACON approach paved the way to capitalize on many significant opportunities across Canada, including the Eglinton Crosstown Tunnel Project in Toronto, the Waterloo Region Light Rail Transit Project, and the John Hart Hydroelectric Project in British Columbia, to name just a few. Revenue from our portfolio of partnership and joint venture projects grew by 50% compared to 2012. Our business strategy of people, profitability, partnerships, and performance remains firmly in place and has steered our evolution into Canada's premier construction and infrastructure development company. In the infrastructure segment, 2013 revenue was $1 billion or approximately 32% of total revenue. Most recently, ACON was recommended for two major projects worth nearly $500 million in total. The Government of Canada announced $53 billion in multi-year infrastructure spending as part of the new Building Canada plan. Today, ACON infrastructure is poised to take advantage of the substantial opportunities on the horizon, including increased demand to renew and expand Canada's vast infrastructure network. In the energy segment, 2013 revenue of $1.4 billion represented an impressive 37% increase over 2012. Canada's energy sector is growing rapidly with significant projects and opportunities across the country, including mainline pipeline expansion, utilities work, nuclear power refurbishment, gas distribution work, and cogeneration power plant construction. Acon Energy is well positioned to achieve even greater heights by capitalizing on the full suite of energy projects across Canada. In the mining segment, 2013 revenue of $706 million was up $29 million compared to the prior year. In 2013, Acon Mining successfully completed the significant expansion of the Roganville Potash facility in Saskatchewan. Acon Mining's commitment in 2014 is to capitalize on targeted opportunities in the mining industry, particularly in the potash and oil sand sectors. ACON's concessions group brings a specialized, fine-tuned approach to project management, 
financing and development, both in Canada and internationally. This segment is actively involved in the development of public-private partnerships and other infrastructure projects requiring private finance solutions for our contracting and operating divisions. The team recently completed the Quito International Airport in Ecuador, and there is currently an unprecedented pipeline of opportunities in Canada where we can play an integral role. We maintain our positive 2014 outlook that is based on five key drivers. One, there are a significant number of new infrastructure projects ramping up with additional opportunities on the horizon. Two, we anticipate further growth in our energy business. Three, secure targeted opportunities in the mining segment, particularly in the potash sector. Four, conclude ACON's strategic initiative with the Quito Airport concession. And lastly, continue to participate in the strong pipeline of P3 opportunities across Canada. In closing, and on a personal note, it has been a tremendous pleasure and privilege to have served as CEO of this great Canadian company. I look forward to assuming the role of Executive Chairman and congratulate Terry McKibben, who will be appointed President and CEO at ACON's annual general meeting, moving forward. Our backlog was $1.8 billion at the end of 2013, and in addition to backlog, ACON's recurring revenue of over $750 million annually represents approximately 25% of total revenue. We will continue to develop our balanced and diversified strategy focused on the core target markets of infrastructure, energy, mining, and concessions, and will maintain a disciplined bidding approach towards meeting our adjusted EBITDA margin target of 9% in 2015. Thank you for your continued support.